In today's video, I'll be going over all dungeon weapons there is in Hypixel Skyblock and rating it from S tier all the way down to never used here. Disclaimer, this is my opinions and my opinions only. I'll be rating them from what I know from playing Skyblock. Let's try to remove all the unnecessary weapons that we have in here. Let's go first with uh, the Soul Stealer bow, the Undead bow, Zombie Whip Commander, Zombie Soldier Cutlass, useless. All these weapons are just good for museum, to be honest. Next up, we have the Super Undead bow, Earth Shard, Sniper bow, <laughs> bro, <laughs> useless. Crip Wither Lord Sword, Death bow, yeah, it's... Death bow, you I've never seen anybody use it. I've never used it myself, and I and my whole time playing Skyblock, I think I've only shot one by accident. Next one I want to talk about is the Dreadlord Sword. Honestly, it's the best weapon you will have as an early game player because it is just a thrift store version of a Hyperion. The Walmart version is a glacial scythe. As an early game player, everyone uses this weapon, so I'm honestly gonna be putting this bad boy on a A tier. Next one I want to talk about is the conjuring weapon or conjuring sword. If you don't like to use TNT, use a conjuring sword if you're not playing as a mage. This sword honestly holds a special place in my heart uh, when I couldn't afford a infinite TNT, but the ability is just it basically shoots a guided sheep to explore a certain area. That certainly doesn't really kill anything really, but just really great to get secrets. So I'm honestly going to be putting this bad boy on AC tier. So this might be a little bit controversial, but the giant cleaver and the and the hyper cleaver. I honestly, I wouldn't recommend you guys using this. It's only for early game players and it is mad expensive. I just feel like it's not the best option better alternative weapons such as the fell sword speaking of the fell sword um i'm gonna rate this guy as a b tier the reason why is if you're broke or an iron man player honestly a fell sword isn't really a bad idea to have in your arsenal a pretty good weapon like it does pretty good damage overall and it's so cheap and easy to get as an iron man player or a really really ga uh, early game player but just this is just regarding for melee let's talk about the last breath omg the last breath Honestly, I'm gonna put this bad boy on A tier. The reason why it is it isn't really used all over Skyblock uh, and it's only used in dungeons. It's a pretty good weapon for all classes because it really decreases all mobs that it hits uh, defense. So I'm putting that, actually let's put that bad boy in B tier because it's, it only serves one purpose and it's just to lower the defense of mobs. Actually, let's put this at C tier, honestly. <laughs> it's you only used for end game players really and a lot of the majority of the players aren't really as end game as people who use uh, last breaths, but it's really, really great to have if you have it. All right, let's talk about the boomerang. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna put this bad boy on a C tier. Reason being is that if you have money is really, really good weapon for early game players. If you reach higher floors, there are better alternative weapons like the spirit bow. Where is that bad boy? For the spirit bow, honestly, I'm gonna put this bad boy on the A tier uh, just because of its recent buffs, really. Really strong short bow under the juju bow, of course, uh, but it does honestly the same job. It shoots instantly. It's a really great weapon for early game players and also Iron Man players as well because it's not that hard to get, really. So I'm gonna put that at A tier because it's just really ac really easy accessible and it's great for early players uh, if they don't have the Enderman level for a juju bow. Actually, let's put this at B tier. All right, let's talk to one of the bad boys let's go with the giant sword honestly a giant sword i'm gonna be putting that on the b tier yeah let's put it like in front of the fell sword honestly by far is a really great weapon it is just too expensive and i don't really see people using it unless they're going left click mage or they're doing slayers or heck even ghosts but the thing is if you're doing ghosts with them you need to do one million damage with it and that is really really expensive so i'm gonna put that on b tier because it's like the strongest melee weapon of course but it's just too expensive to get the florid zombie sword honestly i'm gonna put this bad boy on uh a tier just because this bad boy you'll be using it from literally from early game all the way to late game if you do not have a wither blade with you uh a tier it is because it's just instant heals bro who who doesn't like instant heals all right necron blade i'll put this bad boy on never to use because nobody will be using a necron blade think about it have you ever seen okay i guess there are iron man players who use it but just because they don't have enough frags to upgrade this bad boy giant sword i'm gonna put this bad boy on b tier let's put it like right behind the claymore by far a really great weapon to too. it's expensive as well um and i don't really see people using it that often nowadays because of its current price range which is 200 million this basically people use giant sword for left click mages or slayers i think that's about it really with the giant sword nowadays because there are better alternatives in my opinion next up we have the flower of truth and this boy got hella nerfed once known to be the best weapon because it didn't have any requirements and now you need floor six completion 
I'm putting this bad boy on C tier really, far end. Once you get up to floor six, there are better alternatives like the giant sword and whatnot, of course. Ice spray wand, where's that bad boy? Honestly, I'm gonna put this guy on C tier just right above the just right oh yeah right there i think that yeah yeah there you go i'm gonna put the eye spray wand on c tier just because it has only one function which is like freeze the boss uh, and that's just basically in, in dungeons you can't really use it outside of dungeons you don't really really need to use it unless you're going to master mode which is a long run from a lot of early game players so c tier it is honestly liver dagger easy b tier decent weapon for mid game players great damage output but was recently nerfed which lose its best feature which was the attack speed so i'm gonna be putting this bad boy on b tier it could be an a tier before but now b tier so the machine gun bow this bow was really a part of me i love it so much so i'm putting on a tier don't judge me if you look at the description of it the ability causes the user to shoot an arrow towards the rate of five per second for eight seconds the arrow deals 70 percent of the damage they would normally do and if you're an archer it deals pretty good damage the ability continues working even with the items not being held meaning you can swap to your juju or your terminator and shoot shoot your arrows as well basically doing passive damage who doesn't like passive damage and honestly is a great weapon too because you can honestly use it as a substitute for the ice spray one which is just an amazing weapon that is so underrated and i think you guys should check it out celia i'm gonna call this bad boy celia honestly is a really great weapon for crit damage i assume it's only good for enderman slayers since uh that's the only place i've seen it at so i'm gonna simply put this on b tier because it's considered a uh wither blade valkyrie bad boy goes on c tier yeah i'm gonna put that bad boy on c tier honestly people who only use valkyrie is either if they have mad game knowledge and it fits perfect to their build or they don't have the funds to afford all the scrolls shadow fury literally deals almost the same damage and it's like 10 percent of what it's worth moving on to shadow fury oh my gosh goaded weapon a tier by far oop where did I put it? A tier by far. Let's put this all the other. Let's put it in the front, honestly. Best mid to transitioning late game melee weapon you can get. It's really, really cost effective. It dishes out insane damage with one for all enchantment. Honestly, it could teleport you to mobs anywhere. You don't even have to look at them. Just overall a great weapon. So I'm going to put that bad boy on A tier because it's really, really goaded. Talk about the silent death F tier. Really not great. And it's honestly it does only one thing which it just teleports to enemies that you can see only works in dungeons too so not really goaded for anything really Ooh, spirit scepter now this is a goaded early to main game weapon it shoots batsman what can you ask for it's an upgrade from dreadler sword so i'll place it at b tier honestly i'll put it above the claimer because it's really really well known and very very used actually let's put it behind it just because it's honestly also very very expensive i think it costs 30 mil and you can use it all over skyblock so the Spur Specter is actually insane. Zombie Knight Sword, never gonna use it. Adaptive Blade for the price of it, honestly, because you get it on floor three chest and you'll never use it. Ooh, actually, look at this. Cleaver, honestly, Cleaver, I'm gonna be putting this bad boy on a D tier just because honestly it's a really good early game weapon if you do not know what to buy just start that bad boy out and you guys can i think clear your first two floor entrances to floor two i think uh really really great weapon for early early game players only only <laughs> let's go the spirit sword i'm putting that bad boy to i uh, never use honestly because i've never seen anybody use a spur sword i've never bought one i've never seen one even used i've even never searched for it bonzo staff honestly s tier just s tier it shoots balloons bro i love it so much necromancer sword this bad boy i'm gonna be putting on d tier the reason why is honestly it does one function summon mobs bro and only people use summon mobs for if they're trying to solo floor seven or if they're doing endermans with a cloak sword i'm putting this bad boy on s tier the reason why i'm putting this bad boy on s tier is because it will go invulnerable. Nothing can damage you. Nothing in the whole high pixel, except if you cannot use abilities, of course. So I'm putting this bad boy on S tier right above the Bonzo staff, just because think about it. There's a recent nerf that did hit it, which basically now there's a cooldown of 10 seconds instead of instantly. And I think it's really, really well. People are suffering now because they're not going invulnerable, bro. I think that's just a skill issue. Astria, I'm putting this bad boy on B tier. Of course, right above everything, just because not uh, many people use Astria. People only use this for master mode floors, which not a lot of people use, but I think Astria also does pretty well to use if you're beginning to start your F7 journey because it's just a the defensive healing weapon that deals a lot of damage as well so it's a really great weapon and of course we got our good old hyperion everybody knows that this is an s tier weapon you use it literally in every single part of hypixel skyblock once you have this it's 
one of the most expensive weapons as well and it's the functions of it is just absolutely just insane that my friends are all the dungeon weapons that we've got let's just review everything i think everything is on its place let's move that above the cleaver just because uh people use it more often than the, just a good old cleaver i think this is a really really great great way of seeing it i'm pretty happy with the results what do you guys think tell me in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want to participate i'll leave a link down in the description if you guys want to do this yourselves as well thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time bye Hot food. Just sit. おいしいもの食べよう。フォークで食べ物を少しだけ取って口でふうふうってしてたら冷めるから、そして口の中に入れるんだよ。ないし。